I call Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. The Accident Compensation Financial Responsibility and Transparency Amendment Bill is essentially about uh, how we fund ACC and, and how we maintain the ACC in a uh, good, robust financial state. And there has been a lot of rot spoken about the financial state that the ACC has been in in recent years. And so I think the House actually needs particularly members on the opposite side of the House, need a bit of a history lesson about how we got to this bill. And it starts back in 1999, when the government at the time decided to shift uh, from a pay-as-you-go model, i.e. ACC raised as, as much money as it needed in one year to pay the claims in that year, to a fully funded model, where ACC would have enough money in the bank to actually pay the lifetime of all claims that it had on the books. That was a fundamental shift in the way that ACC uh, ran its books. And it was always going to be something that was going to take time to transition from the old model to the new model. From the day that change was made, you could technically have said that ACC was insolvent. Right. If, it was a, if it was an insurance company, it was technically insolvent from 1999 onwards. But the national government at the time didn't have a problem with that because it knew it was going into transition. And the Labor government uh, of the early 2000s never raised this as an issue because we were transitioning from the old model to the new model. Now then along came Nick Smith, as the new ACC Minister after the election in 2008. And all of a sudden, the fact that the ACC was technically insolvent became a problem. It was a crisis, and it was caused by the Labour Party, blah, 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 blah. We're used to the National Party blaming Labour for everything. But this hadn't been a problem for 10 years right. previous. Suddenly, according to Nick Smith, this was a problem. And there was another issue at the time. It was a little thing called the global financial crisis, which the Prime Minister is often keen to remind us about during question time. And yes, that had an impact on the ACC's assets. So Nick Smith created a crisis out of nothing. Why? Because he wanted to increase the levies. Why did he want to do that? Well, actually, at the time, National's policy was to privatise aspects of the ACT, to privatise some of the accounts, particularly the work account. Now, unfortunately, no private provider could have competed with ACC with the levies that ACC had at the time. No private provider could compete with the ACC. So National actually found a way to artificially increase the levies so that the private providers actually had an opportunity to compete. Now then we had a good report from PwC, I think it was, actually came and said, look, don't privatise ACC. That is madness. If you look around the world, the ACC is a world leader. There is no better way to do it. Do not privatise it. Mercifully, I think it was Judith Collins, actually said, we're going to back away from the silly idea of privatising ACC. But we still had these elevated levies. And all of a sudden, that became quite a happy coincidence for the government, because the government needed revenue from somewhere. It was failing to meet its promise of getting the books back into surplus. It had slashed its own revenue by giving tax cuts to the very wealthy. So it needed to find a new way of generating revenue. And keeping those ACC levies artificially inflated was a very convenient way to keep revenue up in the pursuit of the surplus, which as yet still has not been reached by the government. Right. And that is the long and sordid history of how we get to this bill. Because actually when we saw the title of this bill, we thought, aha, the government has actually responded to the pressure that has been applied by the Labour Party and other opposition parties and the public who are becoming increasingly aware that there was a rort going on, that we were being ripped off by a national government that was actually taking far more in ACC levies than it needed to. And we thought this was the answer. We actually thought the government was prepared to bring itself under control, but unfortunately that has not been the case. Because once again, 
This is, this is becoming a bit of a mantra for this national government. The legislation has been watered down at the select committee, and in fact, there is nothing now in the legislation that says the, that the levies set for ACC have to be appropriate for what ACC's costs are. Instead, what the government now has to do is to be prudent uh, in managing yeah, its entire uh, financial situation. And so quite possibly we could carry on with the rorts that, ha that we have experienced over the last few years. That, Andrew Bailey, that is exactly what is happening. Now, we propose an amendment to this legislation that would sort that out, an amendment to the legislation that would actually make it do what the government said it was going to do. And that is to say, David Seymour, that the ACC levies must be set so that the ACC accounts can be prudently managed. Because that's missing from this legislation at the moment. Now we agree, we agree that over time we need to set levies in an appropriate fashion so that, so that some of the volatility that Jonathan Young talked about can be managed. We also need to make sure that, uh, that, yeah, that we don't have drastic changes in levies. We don't have levi levies plummeting. We don't have levies being put back up again because business, business likes to have security, stability. They like to know what they're dealing with. So we agree with that. But unfortunately, that is not what this legislation provides for. This legislation allows the rot to carry on. And that is an absolute shame because the government, as is so often the case, wants to look like it's doing the right thing. But in fact, what's actually going, what is actually going on is that very, very little will change as a result of this legislation. Now, we're continuing to support it at this stage because we want the opportunity to go to committee stage and make the case for the amendment that we propose. It's the amendment that Business New Zealand actually came and said needs to be made to this legislation to make it function properly. And if the national government and the national party is genuinely interested in ensuring that we only take enough money off ACC levy payers to ensure that ACC is in a good, robust, and stable financial state, then National will support that amendment. And so will every other party in the House if they feel that way as well. If they do not support that amendment, then it is absolutely clear that they intend the rorts to continue in the future. Because ACC should not be there to prop up the government surplus. ACC is a world-leading New Zealand treasure that should be there to take a fair levy and in return provide fair treatment and fair compensation to people. That is all that people ask. Right. People actually enjoy the ACC because it does provide uh, a level of security for people that is, that is not available to, to citizens in a lot of other countries. Now, we don't have to go through um, some of the rigmarole that you have to in the United States, for instance, around, around um, you know, having to go to court uh, just to prove that, that you ought to be um, paid out compensation because of medical misadventure or because you've been injured at work. People appreciate the fact that it's a no-fault, no-liability scheme and it's there when we need it. And we, and we appreciate that we have to pay a levy for that. Nothing comes for free, we have to pay a fair levy. But we expect to pay a fair levy and get fair treatment and fair compensation in return. What we've got right now is people are paying a grossly unfair levy, which is far more than ACC actually needs. Now, many of the accounts, many of the accounts are now 140% or more funded. Now, we appreciate that you need probably a little bit more than 100% funding, but 140% funding and increasing is a gross misuse of taxpayers' money. Uh, and, and 
What we also expect from ACC is that people should get fair treatment. They shouldn't be messed around by ACC being told that actually uh, their injury has been caused uh, by a pre-existing condition or all the other myriad other ways that are used to deny people treatment and compensation. A fair levy in return for fair treatment and fair compensation. That's what people expect from ACC, but that's not what they are getting from this government. And only if they amend this legislation as we propose will this bill actually do what it purports to do. Very good speech. Alistair Scott. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, I rise in support of this bill and uh, 